Hey there and welcome to a new video. In this video, we will solve an advanced SQL interview question. So the question is to write a SQL query to find the customers who increased their spending each month compared to the previous month. So for this, we have created a table which is the orders info table. Let us query the table and see the schema. So this is the order info table that we have created which has got order ID, customer ID, order date and amount. Now using this table we have to find the customers from the customer ID column who has increased their spending each month compared to the previous month. So we have to make use of the customer ID column along with order date column to find the month and year with respect to each order date and then we have to use the amount column in order to compare the spending with the current month and next month and see if the customer is spending more every month compared to the previous month. So that is the question. So before writing query for the same, let us go through the table and see how we can crack the logic to obtain the output. So the same table I have created in Excel. So this is the same table which I created in Excel, which has got order ID, customer ID, order date and amount. So here you can see that we have customer ID repeating with respect to different order date and order ID. So one is repeating three times again, which is corresponding to order ID 503, 504 and 507. The customer ID is repeating multiple times. And the order date is also different with respect to each of the order ID. Now from this table we have to identify the month and year with respect to each order date. So here we will calculate the month underscore year with respect to each order date. So that is the first thing that we are going to do. Then we are going to create a new column or aggregate a new column based on the month year column that we have created and the amount column. So we will calculate the total amount with respect to each month and year that is total amount we will calculate and then we will make use of this total amount column along with the year month column and the customer ID column to see to see if the customer is spending more next month compared to the current month. So we will duplicate a column that is the total amount column into another column based on a window function and that we will see when we write the query. So we will create another total amount column which is similar to the previous total amount column but we will make use of a window function and create a column then we can compare this total amount column and the previous total amount column which we created based on each customer id and month year then we will create a flag column that is we will create a flag column based on which we can identify or we can compare if the amount is greater than or less than the next month amount so we will create a flag column and then based on the flag column we will filter the entire result using a where condition and then from that result we will identify the customers who is spending more every month when comparing to the current month. So that is the logic that we are going to use in order to write the query. Now we will go back to SSMS and see how we can obtain the output. Also in the final result our expected output will be customer ID 1 because when we go through the table and when we analyze the table we can see that customer ID 1 is the customer who is spending more and more every month when we compare it with the previous month. So our expected output will be customer ID 1. Now let us go back to SSMS and see how we can obtain the output. So like we said now we are going to calculate the year and month with respect to the given table using the order date column. So first we will calculate the year, year of order underscore date as that will be the year column that is order date year column now similarly we will calculate the month of order date month of order underscore date as month underscore order underscore date now execute and we will get two additional column that is the year order date and month order date with respect to each order date which was available in the order info table. Now using this year order date column, month order date column and the customer ID column we are going to calculate the aggregate or the total amount with respect to the customer ID year and month. So the first query we will place inside a CT that is with T1 as open and close parenthesis and now we will write a query on the CT T1 that is select first column will be customer ID and now the second column will be year order date year underscore order underscore date and next column will be month underscore 
order underscore date and next we will calculate the total amount with respect to each of the customer id year and month so we will make use of the sum aggregate function sum of amount and this column will be named as total amount total amount and this is taken from the ct t1 t1 now we will have to write a group by close that is group by the three column which we used in the select close starting with customer id then year of order date and month of order date now execute and we will get a result where we have customer id year order date and month order date with respect to each customer we have found the total amount for corresponding year and month now this query we will place inside another ct and then we will move on to another step that is t2s open and close parenthesis and now we are going to write a query on the t2ct using this total amount column we are going to create a second total amount column which is based on a window function that is using the lead window function we are going to create a total amount column so that we can compare the current month amount with the next month amount for each customer id so here we will write a select star now we are going to make use of the lead window function lead open and close parenthesis and first argument will be the column total amount total underscore amount and offset will be one and whenever there is no valid result or valid value in order to substitute in the new column the same value can be substituted meaning total amount will be substituted total underscore amount now we will have to write a over inside over close we will write partition based on customer id that is partition by customer underscore id now we will have to write the order by close that is order by year underscore order underscore date which should be in ascending order comma and next thing is month of order date which also should be in ascending order that is month underscore order underscore date in ascending order and this column we will name as lead amount total underscore amount this is the second duplicate total amount column that we are going to create with respect to the lead window function execute okay we haven't write the frame close i guess that is why we got the result as not table selected so we will have to write a from close from t2 now execute and we will get the result execute we can see we have customer id year order date month order date and total amount from the t2 cte here we wrote another window function that is the lead window function expression to create another column based on the total amount column that is the lead total amount now we are going to compare the total amount with the lead total amount and create another column which is the flag column so this query we will place inside another cte so comma t3s open and close parenthesis now select star we require all the columns from the previous cte that is t3 first we will write the from close t3 and now we will write another expression within the select close so we will compare the total amount at lead total amount so we will subtract total amount from the lead total amount that is lead total amount minus total amount total amount put the entire expression within a parenthesis and we will name the column as flag flag now execute and we will get a new flag column we can see we have created a new column which is the flag and now when we go through the result we can see that the first four records are corresponding to customer id one and the three records following the first four record will be corresponding to customer id two and when we go through the flag column we can see that for the entire customer id either the flag will be positive or zero and when we come to customer id 2 we can see that there is a negative meaning the amount spent by that particular customer in the next month or in the lead month will be less than the current month that is why the flag is coming as negative so this is the condition that we have to look in order to get the customer who is spending more and more every month so we will place this query also inside another cd that is t4 as open and close parenthesis 
and now we are going to find the minimum with respect to each customer id and flag so we will write select customer underscore id comma minimum of flag so minimum of flag should be greater than or equal to zero then we can tell that that customer is spending more and more every month when compared to the previous month in all other cases when it is negative we can tell that that customer is spending less in the lead month compared to the current month so here we will name the column as flag only and this is taken from d4 cte we will write a group by close that is group by customer id now execute and we have customer id 1 and customer id 2 and the flag corresponding to the two customer will be 0 and minus 50. now we will place this query inside another cd that is t5s select customer underscore id now this is taken from t5 ct we will have to write a where clause where flag should be greater than or equal to zero now execute and we will get customer id who is spending more and more every month that is when we compare the amount spent by that customer in the current month with the amount spent by customer in the next month or the lead month we can tell that the customer is spending more and more every subsequent month so this is how we can obtain the output using the logic that we have explained initially here in order to solve this question using the logic that we have explained i have made use of five common table expression but it is not not necessary that we have to make use of all this common table expression in order to get the output i made use of this approach only to explain the logic in a step-by-step -step manner if you have some more interesting method please comment the method the ddl and dml to create the table will be available in the description and if you like this video check out our channel for more advanced content in sql thanks for watching and subscribe for more thank you